He's played one game ever on Aurelian Soul back in the LCK. Was play. Do they realm warp in or do they walk? Also a gank top side. All right, double sides, the Whoa. flash knockback. Here's the ward hop in, the kick as well. Oh. Lands the Sonic Wave. That's first blood Side in for Peanut. Meanwhile, Prey has to do just that. He's running going to have clear love. Ash going to lose his life. The kill in for Prey. Rocks Tiger still not saying die. Finally, the kills come through for Scout. Two to two overall. But Kuro is not done. Voice of Flight tags Mako. Flash the chain. Oh in. my goodness. He's going to try to get some of them, they're inside the orbit. They're not taking any damage. He finally gets one and gets oh. away with it. Kuro makes it three two. Rocks Tigers. And, and a positive play top side. I actually see some more information. So far, Jace is staying top. We don't have the vision toggle just yet. There he is. Koro does have flash. Play. Does he use it? Peanut is around. Koro going to go for the 1v2. Plenty of damage to deal to the Rock Tigers jungler. Oh. And at least he trades it back. That's the actually has gotten a, a minion kill lead back. But now he's looking for top lane tier 2. Forced the early flash out of Kuro. He ults to kill the minion wave, not knowing that he's just going to die himself. That's going to be a kill put through. But he will save the turret for now and buy time for the rest of the the team to do something else, maybe. Overcome yeah. in team fighters, but if they keep this up and they get a good Realm Warp in, they have a chance. Look for the play on the bot lane. Gorilla running out of health rapidly. The first kill gonna come through, and oh, Hitterlub oh. is just running out of HP. He's gonna shift out of this one and run for your dear life. Coral finishes the teleport to buy some time for the rest of his team. Will they get much going on, though? Looks like the chase still continuing as Rock Tigers really want some more kills. Mako eats a cupcake. He goes and comes back in towards Peter, but Coro taking all of his life and damage gonna get dropped down for it. He turns around and gets killed for the uh, transgression. And it's a one for zero Rock Tigers. Fight there by EDG cost them. And you can't excuse lack of Ragnarok initiation on the turret dive either. Rock's looking for more than just the turret. Gonna land the Q, the flash, the chase, the slow, and a clear the kick into the wall. The kill comes through to Kuro with the orbiting stars. And more comes through for the Rock Tigers. Now a death stun's gonna land. Double kill for the mid laner. One more chase for Spab. Actually gonna run away from this one. Doesn't look for EDG. For now, no other damage, just Peanut dueling with Kara. He's got the teammates coming. Zyra just below, down on that side of the map. Aurelian Soul coming as well. That's that yellow orb on your screen. Koro able to get away, not burning any summoners. And here's the rest of Edward Gaming. Spev has teleport. Oh. And here's the re-engage. Two members already picked off. Make that three. Koro doesn't even need to snipe. A double kill for Kuro in the mid lane for Rocks Tigers. And that was a 5v4. Theoretically, Smeb wasn't really part of that fight. And it gets smashed. What an absurd combo from Gorilla and Kuro there, catching the grasping roots. Now they turn for Baron. Smep be damned, he fell down. The rest of Rocks did a 4v5. Double mountain. So, so easy. The threat of tankiness or damage in the front line. Otherwise, they're in trouble. Whoa! There's the giant stun from base. Not gonna land the stun on anybody just yet, but ooh, is Pina looking for the knockback, but not gonna find it. Maybe overstepping. Jumps to a minion, running out of health pretty rapidly, but they don't quite have the damage output. He goes by a little bit more time, and he's not quite gonna burn down. Gorilla gets the kill on the Koro, and now it's Edward Gaming forced to retreat once again. Clear love slowed down, chased out. Kuro is not gonna be stopped. Finally, let's get away back to his base, but it is a 5v4 that rocks Tigers. But right now, all the Korean fans can be exceptionally happy at how their team is doing right now. Once again, look at the play on Scout. He is able to dodge some of the skill shots and actually flash away for a few more seconds. Maybe Peanut finds the re-engage. In fact, might just do so. Flash the Q, gets the oh. kill with the kick. Nicely done there by Peanut, turning one in. It's the almost really is so durable enough to make it scary. Clear love, running on the team, getting nothing done for a Kuro's dominating. A nice ulti by Gorilla disengages. It's already two kills picked up for Rocks Tigers with what could be the end game push right now. 35 minutes in, triple Mountain Drake, five versus three for 40 seconds. Looking now for Nexus turrets, looking to be another team into the semifinals. If they can do this and more, the three-man defense, Mako not long for this world. Exhaust is not enough. The dive out of the fountain, Pina nearly loses his life for it. Was able to safeguard back away. The flash to re-engage, looking for a little bit more damage, and it's still only two members alive. Edward Gaming will not be able to defend this one. Scout's gonna lose his life at the end of it all. Death, the last man standing. Nexus falls, Rocks Tigers convincingly take down game one. Welcome back to the big stage, Rocks Tigers. They had a five game slumber, but three games in a row, they've looked like the team that captured everyone's hearts, finally took down an LCK championship, and have finally shown up at Worlds. Exactly, they were feasting on Koro in the top lane this game. Peanut and Smev made repeated visits up there, not to mention Curl was also on a strong champion that could have impact in the game and not get pushed into the laning phase. I really loved their draft as well as their play this game because they were shoving almost every single lane and then when they needed to transition it to the big advantage, they did. And then you haven't seen Twitch so far in this tournament as far as the laning phase is concerned, so the Caitlyn makes the most sense. It's 
actually incredibly similar to the team composition of the Rocks. And in this, they're still giving up first turret. Even if they stay, they're likely to be giving up first turret. Clear Love still level five, and he's caught. Caught out with Chain CC. First Blood comes through the flash into the kick for Peanut. Gets it down for himself. The re-engage by Scout means. Whimper of us. Oh, this is rough stuff right now for Koro. You've got the rest of the team coming in for him, and it's a 3v1. Nowhere to go. Good bye to Kennen. But now the re engage on the bot side. Prey gets one on a Mako. A trade kill for Clear Love. Something finally on the board for Edward Gaming. Not a complete shutout. And Scout wants in as well. Lands the Rune Prison. Spiraling in past the minions, and they're going to block the rest of the skill shot. So nothing game else. Just absolutely broken the game apart. They're doing so a little bit earlier. The flash engage on Nakoro. More CC to follow. Not even a chance from the runaway with his life. It's going to be the last hit on the peanut. Why not secure another one? Two, zero, and one here for the jungler. Rock Tiger is getting farther and to get everywhere they go. They had the early tracker's knife. They've upgraded to the maximum Sister on Gorilla, and they always have the aggressive wards that let them make plays like this. The kick is in. The chase through as well. Mako's going to survive. Got to land the root in a peanut, but there's just not enough damage to deal. Your love really wants in, though. Can he get the attacks? He's going to go for the only oh! nice dodge from Peanut. Still alive somehow, but Scout's there with a vengeance. Now on to Kuro they go. The Root's going to land. A couple more shots should do it, but he's tanky enough. Right. He lands the stun. He might kill off Clear Love, but no. Now he's in the danger zone. This could be enough, and no, it's still going to be the one picked up. Nicely played by Kuro to get away. The Viking oh, getting on the bottom side. Gorilla getting a ton of damage across on this one. Kuro going to lose his life as well, and that is the ace for one. Beautifully played by Rox Tigers. With Zyra, who's taking a lot of the damage from Baron for them. The crazy thing in all of this is that I think the Aurelian Soul is the one champion that has thrown EDG's pick and ban off. They thought they could keep Kuro in lane wave clearing. It didn't work, but Baron time. The Baron's already been picked up, but maybe this is the fight that every game he needs. Exhaust on right in time, and it's already one kill picked up. Make that two. Baron's gone. One trade kill, but it's a four versus three, and it might just get worse. The snipe gonna come through. Gonna tag Mako in the back below 1,000 HP. Smeb is taking the long way around to cut off the retreat. And there's nowhere to go. Depth gets shut down once again. Peanut gets that kill. Now Mako also rooted up against the wall. A double kill for the Rocks Tigers jungler. It's four for one. Not even a problem right now. Rocks Tigers. Let's watch Rocks work. One more attempt to try to keep the game alive. Edward Gaming going for the roam. Right. Moro gets in without the exhaust this time okay. around. A shutdown comes through. They got prey. The knockup already came in. 4v4. How much more gonna happen? Sveb is invincible as we know. 4v3 is another kill comes through. Now Death caught out. Oh. There's the stars. There's the kills. Clear love gets a bit of a terrify, but has to run for dear life. Sveb gonna drop the turret. I can put it on the peanut. By the way, only Clear Love left alive. Now, yes, Prey was killed, but it does not matter. Oh. Another flash kick for Peanut. Secures the ace. 5-1 five, and 5 on the Lee Sin. And Rox Tiger is going to make it a swift 2-0. And very high kills for Rox Tigers. They averaged 18 kills per game in the group stage, but this was 18 kills in a much faster and more dominant fashion. Rox Tigers is going to go 2-0. People have their pre preconceived notions about what Korean League of Legends looks like. You see SKT, you see Samsung, you see the controlled play. That's not Rox Tigers. These guys build damage. These guys dive towers. Their Baron power plays are massive. And when they start going 15 minutes on, they end the game before 30 more often than not. And they definitely didn't start the tournament this way. Nope. So we really have to credit their ability to prepare and adapt in the week between the group stage and now. Because as you mentioned, Papa, you have to ban Nidalee and Elise. And now you're just struggling between what the hell is that yeah. last third ban? I think there's definitely two sides to that argument, because if you can play it and dominate with it, so if they can catch him doing uh, this with uh, low mana and low health, it's over. Fiora is missing, walks into the camp, actually gets away from the skill shots, but doesn't really matter. Smites for a bit of healing, trying to run out. One more hit, will do it, and that's first blood in for Smeb in the top. Now, a big lead for Smeb. No get, no surprise, he gets the kill credit. Here's Peanut again. CC back and forth, no summoners for Scout. He's got nowhere to go. That's going to be the assassination. Peanut gets one as well, 2-0, and Scout should have known Lance, that. But it's still actually a 13 last hit lead right now for death in the bottom lane. The gold may be a bit close. Now a stun on the Kuro as they want a bit of health. And ooh, that's going to be a whiff equalize, but still the damage comes through. A roam down for Kuro 1, helping Sorry. with that. Peanuts level 6 with Flash. He would have loved to get the easy jump over there with the Krugs, but he is still going to be all in the hunt. All it takes is a Flash kick to connect his still Q. Still to be a kill. Walk into his face, kick into the wall. There's the Q. The There's the chase in. Not even difficult. And Flash out to make it easy. That's a nicely played gank there. By Pick up the chest coming in. Over a pink ward, so he's spotted. Looking for the 
play in the top side of the map. Smed gonna have to flash away from this. Will repose the stun. Nicely played here. And now in with the ultimate. But he's running out of health rapidly. Voice of light. And the drill comes through. The drill of defiance. There's a kill finally in for Edward Gaming in the top lane. Bringing it a bit closer, but it's only 300 gold apart. But Scout wants it back. He's been punished for teleporting in the lane. Is able to get one back on Smed. They also burnt the flash, which just makes him better. And a ton of CC now on to Mako. He's getting shot down. Nice play by Dex. Oh! Away and takes the shot anyway. That's a throw to the top lane, really trying to wedge this matchup open. Scout is here again. Rinse and repeat back in on this map. What's it going to look like? Equalizer, not the best, but it still cuts off some of the retreat angles. Coro takes Zagreb, but Voice of Light still going to be enough. And another kill comes through. Top lane is actually finding some teeth. Now. Members to knock down this turret. The flashless gorilla has to be a little bit careful. Yours coming Lands in. The root. They don't quite dedicate themselves to knocking the turret down. Naka comes through onto three. How much more is the real here? Grab Smeb and Peter are here. A late teleport for Coro. It's a 5v4 momentarily, but the kickback doesn't land the root. Now Mako gonna run out of health. Voice of Light plus Equal. Getting a little bit more. And Gorilla running down, but no, he eats a trap. Can they find any more? A round warp doesn't quite get him out. And look at all the kills for Edward Gaming. It's three to one. Now maybe a little bit more coming through. Smeb wants it, and he Get finds the heal the down. Gets healed up a little bit more, and now getting barbecue to the backside takes a harpoon to the back and a snipe in for death. Edward Gaming. Smeb before they arrive for the siege. Oh, that's Smeb jumping back in a core because suddenly here's the rest of the squad. He's gonna block the ulti, but now comes Peanut, and maybe he shouldn't have been here at all. That's one kill picked up for Death. The rest of the squad is now here as well, and Peanut's got nowhere to go. The kick means not very much, but still, they get the kill through with Death. That's good enough there for Edward Gaming. Nine to six, the score line. Almost a 3,000 gold lead, pushing top lane outer. And now Scout's trying to go for more. Will Rock's trying to bend this turret. Gets the stun on the Gorilla. The knockup's gonna mean nothing. That's another one picked makes his mark 10 to 6. Look at this game. We were just talking about Coral bait again. They can sneak Deft into this brush. It's there, but the rest Rox is Rox also Rox. here with Rise. This is a bit of a two versus three. Do they have the damage on Smep? One more shot. I'll do it. They switch back into Kuro. They get one. Now how's the trade kill going to work? If they get a crit and Deft gets it. Now the battle versus Gorilla. Flash the oh, lane. Deals through the Ignite and is running for dear life. Oh, it's all said and done, though, still advantage Edward Gaming 3 to 2. That was some vintage death mechanics right there with the flash, but still died on the back end. The scouts are on the back. Here loves here to help. Prey is running out of health pretty rapidly, but gets the one kill picked up. Another execution kick out of Peanut. Another one for one, and now it's time for Peanut to run, but he's on the long cooldown. Nice cue to the Baron Nasher pit. And gets himself away. Still overall the four uh -oh. for three trade. So little armor that Rox can actually put up, not to mention they have the setup of the Aurelian Soul and the shielding of Karma, that if they just group up and fight with Deft, I think they win. This is the kind of stuff they need to avoid, though. And that's gonna be a pretty quick kill on the scout. Does get some decent damage on a prey, but not enough to matter, and you're seeing Rox Tigers pulling the trigger, saying we are not. Range is very important. Here comes the attempt, gonna be the rune prison in towards Koro, puts the equalizer down, but just not enough damage dealt nearly rapidly enough. And again, it's Rox Tigers Finding a kill in a side lane with Edward yep. Gaming late to react. They're doing exactly what they need to do. Great steal rate on this one, but you try and zone him with the Aurelian Soul, and you actually want to take the 50-50 if they go for it. And here comes the teleport in from Spence. Scout is in the front line, losing a lot of health, and Rise is on him, and Scout's going to lose his life at the very start of it. That's going to get him popped with the Guardian Angel. Now it's Spence still chasing through Koro, jumping into the Baron Pit, but Depth is still alive in the back line. Scout will go down to Spep. The re-engage on Koro, though, is good. That's a lot of damage on Caitlyn, and Equalizer kind of splits up the team. Koro by what time he came with the Zodius, but still goes down to the plants. Yeah. Meanwhile, Def and it's Clear Love picking up everybody. That is four kills for Edward Gaming. And the resulting 3v1 is Peanut still alive. He is, and we've seen this story before. Just when it looks like Rox will lose at a Baron fight. Peanut comes around the side. Oh, Def, Def going like that big. Happened. Two more shots will do it. He's going to knock down Peanut, and that was a huge play. Should be Baron over to EDG. The Guardian Angel so important. No healing field coming through from the Fiora. No real way to re-engage that fight and free Baron to EDG. 9-1-5 and five on Death. Beautiful play by Death in there. Something back, but he is now, if he completes this teleport to go back to base, with Koro having the teleport, this means EDG is in for it. They're going for the second inhibitor. Looking for the CC on a scout. Plenty of knockbacks. The kick in for Peanut. It's a trade of one for one. Jungler for mid laner, but maybe that's a good thing for Rock's Tigers. It's now the rest of the fight to go. Minion waves running Death out. Climbers and EDG, yep, 
knowing yeah. what was going on. Sveb sniffed it out, but with a red buff on, does it even matter? Running for his life, the flash is to chase, the flash to run. Sveb, voice of flight, and the kill for Deft. He's unstoppable. The stun and a peanut didn't even need to be there. Two for zero to Edward Gaming. And already inhibitor down. They just go to where they think Smeb's going to be. They catch him out. GA up on clear left. GA up on Deft. He's got a 5,000 gold lead against Prey. EDG is going to look to end here. Mid lane inhibitor already gone anyway. 40 seconds on the respawns for two members of Rocks Tigers. Gorilla caught out as well. Forced to flash. The chase is in. The kill comes through once again for the mid laner for Scout Clear Love Guardian Angel. Who even cares? The same pops here on the Aurelian Soul. But now it's on to the Nexus Turrets. It's on for the comeback for Edward Gaming. They drop the first two, but convincingly they take game three off the back of some excellent play. Deft 11, 1, and 8 on the Caitlyn. And that's game three going to Edward Gaming. With their backs against the wall. And Rock's trying to show a little bit of flair. Edward Gaming stay alive in this best of five series. And Deft was incredible that game. Uh, this was vintage Deft, as you say. Almost had a tremendous outplay, died to the plants in top but kept up his level performance, output more damage than Rock's Tigers in team fights. Cheers in all these roles now. This is going to be a very fun champ select once again. Only a single that much lane dominance either. You're seeing the overall gold game be plus 200 for Rock's Tigers. They are laning better as a team, but the re-engage on Gorilla means nothing because suddenly Peanut is here on the Olaf. A flash force out of Mila, but he is still chasing on the Deft, who's nearly out of HP. The chase in oh for Prey. First blood. That's two for Peanut. It might be a third, and the re-engage for Coral. One. Can he do much of anything? It doesn't seem like a lot. Peanut very, very low. Oh. Slicing Hales from Spev says, don't you dare go for my teammates. Another one. Rocks Tigers, four to one. Hang on to him, but that's a trap eaten by Gorilla. The flashless Karma clear left. Looking for a bit more. Dodging away from the tidal wave, though, and that is nothing to be gained. And here's the curtain call, and it could be just that for Edward Gaming. Clear love gonna get sniped. You expect it to happen, and that is the kill picked up once again to Peanut. They're giving it to the Olaf. Four and zero now. The junk get into the semifinals off of some incredible play so far. From now he's flashless. Trying to turn it around, kicks him into the wall. Gonna wait on the Q and lets him dodge away. Clear love having a terrible series so far, but it's still gonna be an easy kill because Deft is there to secure it. The ultimate was all that they needed, and now the race is on for first turret. Yeah, exactly. This is the items. If this keeps going super super late, I do feel like there's. Edward Gaming has the tools they need, but it's Rock's Tiger still pulling the trigger. Look at the dive. The the They've got the dive. They've got the kill in the coral. Now it's about the counter gang. How much can EDG do? 4v5. Peanut kind of on the wrong side of this one. Trying to run away back through the turret. He's going to be Flashed away. Olaf That's and the assault on. Ulti well, going to be burned just to land a bit of a slow, but Peanut pops the ult, but he's still going to go for this chase. The Ragnarok is on, and Mako going to run out of HP entirely. That is just unafraid diving. Great kill pick up. Tanks like this Olaf to take them early, but this is the sort of game where they can actually look for a Baron to prop them. Oh, the Axe landed, meaning Def got rooted. He gets deleted, and it's Fem who wants a little bit more. Scout running out of health. One more shot would get him, and no one blocks the shot. Clear love, what are you doing? Another kill picked up. That's three to zero. As a team that can take it all down and how they react from a loss where clearly they took a couple of luxuries in the thick and bad and fell down. This is how they reply. And the shot is there on the Mako. He's got nowhere to go. Chopped down yet again. Peanut is godlike and playing like it. Absolutely. Kerr would have. Yeah, keep taking the kills if you're Peanut because you're doing work with it. Here they come, they get on the scout. Scout's done, so there's the rune prison, and there's the kill picked up. Peanut legendary. with another one. He's legendary, he's 8-0. and zero. Clear love running for dear life through his own jungle. Ward hop. They have vision control in the river, and they have a huge tank who can take a lot of hits from the Baron. EDG has to abandon it, and Rox is going to take it no problem. Who thinks they've come for this series? For Rox Tigers are not the things I expected coming into it. The first one was the Aurelian Soul. Now suddenly a must ban or a, must, a considered ban against Kuro, but quite well. With Scout down at the Nexus turret, this might be the wave as it comes through. Scout still down there, and this turret is getting the attack, but they're going to eat up the traps. And here comes the play. They brought in Spam. He's oh, the back line, and Scout is nowhere to be seen. They're getting evaporated, assassinated in the lightning storm. This is all they could possibly need. Clear love running out of house. Scout nearly just nothing to do anymore. Jumps back towards the fountain. Who even what? cares? Hey. It's Peanut, who actually stays alive. They've to keep him 
up in this one, and this should be the game cleanly as Rocks Tigers take a four for one. They'll be taking the series three to one. As the turrets fall, it's gonna be the rematch of Worlds last year. Rocks hoping to get revenge on SK Telecom T1 as Peanut is the best juggler in the world. Rocks Tigers back on form, hoping to win a world championship. 11-0 and 5 Olaf. As I said at the start of the game, other junglers, when they get the first three kills of the game on the Lee Sins, on the Olafs, you're like, I don't know about this, but when Peanut picks them up, you know that he's gonna transform a game as he did here, and the Rocks Tigers are ecstatic. He feels real good about that one. In clinching games, Peanut has been crushing double-digit kills on multiple occasions, and the crowd chanting his name for good reason. Peanut gave an interview, he thought it'd be so cool to have his name channel Name said on the world stage, chanted out here by the crowd. He'll feel great. And EDG, they got the steadying victory. They did not lose 3-0, but the gulf between these two teams was clear. This time last year, nobody knew who Peanut was.